Hey, what's up, family? It seems uh, Michael Jackson is back in the news, and uh, this time it's about, you know, the Sundance Film Festival will be premiering a uh, documentary uh, later on this month about Michael Jackson. It's called Leaving Neverland. It's a documentary that alleges the world superstar Michael Jackson began relationships with two boys ages 7 and 10 along with their families. The boys both in their 30s now would tell their story of allegedly being sexually abused by Michael Jackson. Now we all know in the past when Mike was alive that uh, there was documentaries made about him and there was numerous cases with people coming for a legend that uh, Michael Jackson had abused their children and uh all of that all of that never came to fruition it was debunked and everything you know um they continuing to castrate humiliate dehumanize and crucify black men one after another you see what i'm saying powerful famous black men too you know you know this 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 ain't nothing but another fucked up production you see what I'm saying? In an outrageous and pathetic attempt to exploit Michael Jackson for some type of financial gain. You see what I'm saying? It's bad enough that they killed the man. Now these blood-sucking greedy bastards want to capitalize off of this documentary while further tarnishing his name and his legacy with these accusations. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 we, we see what's going on with R. Kelly. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty clear cut and dry with R. Kelly, you know. But uh, you know, it's a it's a different situation with Mike. We we all know that Mike was a little weird, and Mike's you know you know he was he was he was kind of detached, and he was out there. But you know, it still don't stop them from wanting to uh, tarnish his name and legacy and try to you know exploit the man still after he did. You know what I'm saying? And uh. The thing is, the thing is this, they're continuing to do black men one after another. That's all you hear in the news. It's bam, 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 bam. Week after week, week after week, you hear the same shit. So you know it's all about the money and it ain't nothing but setups. And, uh, you know, Michael Jackson was never convicted of any of the 14 uh, counts of sexual abuse acts that they claim that they claim he did you know all of that shit was alleged you see what i'm saying a jury found him not guilty they found him not guilty of all the counts okay and the family that claimed michael jackson did these crimes was interviewed and the little boy said he slept in michael jackson's bed while michael jackson always slept on the floor you see what i'm saying the father of the little boy said the mother always coerced her kids to say whatever she wanted them to say and she enrolled them into acting classes you see what i'm saying not only did that take place the mother also you know the mother was prosecuted for welfare fraud you know she she had problems of her own you know she also had mental problems so, uh, you know, that family was interviewed too. You know, the entire family was recorded on video stating that, uh, no inappropriate behavior had ever occurred between anybody in their family and Michael Jackson. You know, they further stated that, uh, Michael Jackson was innocent and no, no, no type of molestation ever occurred. No type of sexual abuse or nothing. This is coming from the family of the little boy that claimed that Michael Jackson had touched on him. And this is the reason he had went to trial in the first place. You see what I'm saying? The whole family was interviewed. And uh, this, is, this is what the media, the media refuses to show. They don't, they, they don't want to show this. They don't want to air this, you know. But uh, that's what happened. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to let y'all know right now. For, you, for those of you that don't know, that's too young or whatever, 
the Neverland, the Neverland Ranch, the uh, the uh, ranch that they're talking about was a ranch that Michael Jackson had. It was a big ranch, like a theme park or something. And he would, uh, you know, it was a Peter Pan theme park, and he would uh, have a lot of kids come over and uh, play, and they would spend the night. And I, I won't lie. I always wondered why a grown man would always want kids to come over and spend the night anyway, especially when he didn't have kids of his own. Now, that's not saying he did something, uh, nothing, you know, in my opinion, if it was me, you know, I wouldn't have did it. But uh, that's, that's anyway, that's what uh, the Neverland Ranch was anyway. Now, about this documentary, these two guys that's in the documentary, I'm guessing is Wade Robson and James Safechuck. Both of these dudes filed lawsuits after Michael Jackson died, claiming they were sexually abused, and both of their lawsuits were shot down. The judge, both both of the judges, uh, um, you know, ruled against them. So they was they was they was uh, they filed lawsuits against Michael Jackson's estate, and neither one neither one got anything. Um, Safe Chuck's claim was denied July two thousand seventeen. What's strange, what's strange and funny is Robson and, and, and Wade Robson is a courier. He's a courier guard, you know. He choreographs dance, you know what I'm saying? So he's a choreographer. So, uh, you know, he was around Michael Jackson a lot and he was around Michael Jackson when he was young. I believe at the age of seven. And he claimed Michael Jackson had sexually abused him and everything. But what's funny is that Wade Robson testified on Michael Jackson's behalf at, at his trial. Yeah, he testified in Michael Jackson's behalf. And then turned around and filed a lawsuit claiming that Michael Jackson sexually abused him after he died, though. He did this after Mike died. He didn't do it while he while he was living. He did it after he died, you know. And uh, he also was interviewed and told people because other people came to his defense and said, "Yeah, you know, uh, while he was there, I, you know, uh, I seen him take showers with uh, Michael Jackson and uh, Wade Robson. Told him no, that never happened. So I'm wondering why he was trying to file a lawsuit against his estate anyway. So uh. You know that was kind of that was kind of strange to me you know um it's it's this documentary is clearly about money you know what i'm saying i say fuck the whole documentary fuck the dude who made the documentary who directed it and produced it and all that bullshit because it ain't it's just another it's you know it's another trick to exploit mike and you know get money and all that shit you know the lawsuits didn't go through so now they want to tell their side not saying they wrong for wanting to tell their side if something did happen allegedly happen you know but uh we'll see when a documentary come out and see what's going on uh just like share and subscribe to this video man uh make sure y'all hit that subscribe button Make sure y'all definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll keep y'all updated on these videos, man. Peace.